Before I came here, I bumped into uh, some school children at Parliament House and I thought about what sort of Queensland I want for them. And I thought about the training opportunities and the education opportunities and how we're putting together pathways so they can follow their dreams. That's why we're investing in more education. That's why we're investing in more health services across our state. We value our doctors and our nurses and our paramedics and everyone that works together. We're rebuilding those frontline services that were savagely cut by the LNP. And then I move across the regions and I think how wonderful our regions are. Every region is different. But at the end of the day, we're all Queenslanders. We all want the same things. We want our family to be well taken care of. We want jobs. And the reason why jobs are so significant is that there is dignity in having a job. My grandfather was a boilermaker. He said to me it was tough work, but it was a job that I could put food on the table. He lived in Anala in a housing commission house that he later bought and stayed there until he died. He never wanted to leave Anala. He never wanted to leave Queensland. He loved this state. And Queensland is a place of great opportunity. He came out here as a migrant and he did the best he could for his family. And I want the best for every single family in this state. So there is a clear choice this Saturday. Do you want stability or do you want chaos and reckless behaviour? Our plan is fully costed, it's fully funded. The LNP have put a pure hoax on regional Queensland. The Bradfield scheme doesn't even eventuate for 10 or 15 years' time. There is no duplication or four-laning of the Bruce Highway. There is no funding for it. And the only way the LNP can fund its, its unfunded commitments is to cut. We've heard it all from Campbell Newman again. The leader of the opposition was his assistant minister and more will come. I'm asking Queenslanders to stay the course. Now is the time for us to be united and stand together. If we continue to work together and not be divided, we can achieve anything. And we've seen that through the COVID crisis. I'm asking Queenslanders to stick with me. You know me. I hope you trust me. I trust you. I will stand up every day. I will fight for you. I'll work for you. And I'll always stand up for Queensland. I'll take the tough decisions because I have your best interests at heart every single day of the week.